Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's week is getting off to a good start. Still early, so um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Today, in light of Veterans Day being yesterday, I want to not thank the veterans, but thank veteran families. <clears throat> so, you know, oftentimes the families that these men and women go away and, and serve on deployments or get stationed out of the states or on the other side of the states, um, you know, the, the family aren't the ones that signed up for this. And we get their full support and they make sacrifices for us to fulfill our calling to serve and I know for myself and my time in the Marine Corps and through deployment, it was somewhat easy for me. And I don't know about anybody else, but it was easy for me to put home life aside to focus on the mission. And quite frankly, that's essential to having a successful mission. But the family members are back home while on said mission worrying about us, not knowing. And, and the fear of the unknown cre can create the most unreal, most anxiety-filled stories possible within the person that it has that fear of the unknown. And, and I couldn't imagine, because I've never had to deal with having a loved one off in a combat zone. And I just couldn't imagine the daily wonder and unknown that could create such, such turmoil within those family members. So today, the day after Veterans Day, I want to show my gratitude towards veteran families and current serving families, families that currently have loved ones deployed. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for dealing uh, with us when we struggle to reintegrate into society. And just, just thank you for everything because without the loved ones and the family and the support coming back home, the transition would be, it's already a tough one for, for many, many service members, but without the support and love from those around us and our families and our society that, that supports us, it would be impossible. You know, and I, my heart goes out to, to the men and women that served in Vietnam when, when they came back to an ungrateful society and, you know, no matter what, I understand the views on the Vietnam War from the other side. I do. And, you know, whether you think it's necessary or not, these men were were forced. A lot of these men were forced into war that they didn't even believe in. And and just to not support them when they get back is how that's just it's, it was selfish of people. I mean, the those men, a lot of those men did not necessarily support the Vietnam War but <clears throat> they answered their calling and and kudos to you guys because I'm very grateful for the the men and women that came before me and I'm very grateful for the families and I'm just grateful I am so families thank you for all your love and support for your service members we couldn't do it without you guys. You guys hold us up when we're at rock bottom. So we love you guys. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing week and uh, kick ass.